Welcome to the Gulfstream G4 Limitations Review. This section focuses on the limitations specific to aircraft serial number 1214 and subsequent. It's presented in a clear, concise manner to help you easily memorize each question and answer for your check ride. Let's begin. Maximum runway slope for takeoff and landing operations. Plus 2% uphill and minus 2% downhill. Maximum tailwind component approved for takeoff and landing. 10 knots. Maximum approved airport pressure altitude for, for takeoff or landing. 15,000 feet. Maximum operating altitude. 45,000 feet. Maximum operating altitude with the yaw damper inoperative, coupled with failure of the MAC trim compensation. 41,000 feet. Maximum landing gear extension altitude. 20,000 feet MSL. Maximum altitude for extending flaps 39 degrees. 20,000 feet MSL. Flight load acceleration limits. Flaps up 1 to plus 2.5 Gs. Flaps down 0 to plus 2 Gs. Minimum control speed in the air. 104 knots. Thrust reverser cancellation. Initiate by 70 knots. Minimum control speed on the ground. 111 knots. Maneuvering speed, VA. 206 knots. Flaps extended speeds, VFE, MFE. Take off 10 degrees, 250 knots or 0 0.60 Mach. Take off and approach 20 degrees, 220 knots or 0 0.60 Mach. Landing 39 degrees, 180 knots or 0 0.60 Mach. Landing gear extended speed, VLE, MLE. 250 knots or 70 Mach, gear doors open or closed. Landing gear operation speeds, VLO, MLO. 225 knots or 70 O Mach, normal operation. 175 knots, alternate operation. Minimum speeds with your damper inoperative. 220 knots above flight level 180. Maximum speed with Mach trim or electric elevator trim inoperative. 0.75 Mach. Maximum tyre speed. 195 knots. Turbulence penetration speed. 270 knots or 0.75 Mach. Maximum zero fuel weight. 49,000 pounds. Maximum ramp weight. 75,000 pounds. Maximum takeoff weight. 74,600 pounds. Maximum landing weight. 66,000 pounds. What is the maximum permissible fuel imbalance in flight? Up to 55,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds. Greater than 55,000 pounds but less than 60,500 pounds. Consult chart. 60,500 pounds to 74,600 pounds, 400 pounds. Maximum cabin pressure differential. 9.8 PSI, 0 0.3 PSI for taxi, takeoff or landing. Standby electrical system. Minimum HP 67%. Extend speed brakes slowly. 5 seconds for full extension. No automatic ground spoilers or thrust reversers during landing. Minimum autopilot engage height. 200 feet. Speed brake operating. Do not pull flight power shutoff handle with speed brakes extended. Speed brakes are not approved for extension with full flaps or gear extended. Operating engine fuel temperature. Minimum minus 40 degrees Celsius, maximum 90 degrees Celsius. 
fuel temperature of 91 to 120 degrees Celsius is permissible for up to 15 minutes. Operating engine oil temperature. Minimum minus 40 degrees Celsius to start. Minimum minus 30 degrees Celsius to advance power. Maximum 105 degrees Celsius. Oil temperature of 106 to 120 degrees Celsius is permissible for up to 15 minutes. Engine starting limits. 30 seconds on followed by 3 minutes off. 30 seconds on followed by 3 minutes off. 30 seconds on followed by 15 minutes off. Takeoff permitted with automatic ground spoilers. Inoperative provided. Anti-skid is operative. 20 the green flaps are used. Usable fuel capacity. 29,500 pounds, G4 and 400 series. Exceedance is permitted as long as the max ramp weight or max takeoff weight are not exceeded and the loaded aircraft CG is within limits. When must wing anti-icing be turned on? If icing conditions are imminent or immediately upon detection of ice formation on wings, winglets or windshield edges. When is cowl anti-icing required on the ground? When the sat is below 10 degrees Celsius and visible moisture, precipitation or wet runways are present. When is cowl anti-icing required in flight? As indicated in the cowl anti-icing table, when visible moisture or precipitation is present or when signs of icing are observed. What is the procedure to shed engine ice in flight? Quickly retard one engine at a time to idle, hold for 5 seconds, and then accelerate engine to 85% LP RPM for 2 seconds. Takeoff is permitted with anti-skid inoperative, provided that Ground spoilers are operative, rated power and 20 degree flaps are used, cowl and wing anti-ice system are not used. When should you not operate the weather radar on the ground? During refueling of the airplane, within 300 feet of fueling operations, within 49 feet of personnel with 24-inch antenna, within 33 feet of personnel with 18-inch antenna. A current FMS database is required for All GPS approaches Localizer-based approaches must be flown using the following displayed slash coupled navigation source. Nav, green data. The following approaches may be flown using the FMS as the displayed coupled source. RNAV, GPS. VOR, VORDME, VORDME, RNAV, NDB and GPS approaches. TCAS operation with one engine inoperative. Select TA only as the operating mode. General ICAS range marking colours. Normal range values green or white. Caution range values amber. Warning range values red. APU starting limits, battery power. Three 30-second consecutive attempts followed by a 20-minute cooldown, then three 30-second consecutive attempts followed by a one-hour cooldown. APU starting limits, external DC power. Two 15-second consecutive attempts followed by a 20-minute cooldown, then two 15-second consecutive attempts followed by a one-hour cooldown. Maximum APU operating altitude. Flight level 300 with 36-100G APU, flight level 350 with 36-100G APU and scoop. Flight level 350 with 36-150G APU. APU alternator electrical load limit, 36-100G APU no scoop sea level to 22,000 feet, 100% 30 kVA, 22,000 to 30,000 feet. 50% 15 kVA, 36-100G APU, with scoop sea level to 25,000 feet, 100% 30 kVA, 25,000 to 30,000 feet, 83% 25 kVA, 30,000 to 35,000, 67% 20 kVA. 
36-150G APU ASC 465 Sea level to 15,000 100% 30 KVA 15,000 to 30,000 75% 22.5 KVA 30,000 to 35,000 50% 15 KVA Note an APU inspection is required within 10 APU operating hours if the 36-100G APU is operated for more than one hour above 30,000 feet or more than five times above 30,000 feet. Maximum engine overtemp? From 801 to 820 degrees, maximum of 20 seconds. Maximum takeoff go around TGT? 716 to 800 degrees Celsius, 5 minutes with both engines, 10 minutes on one engine. Maximum continuous TGT? Up to 715 degrees Celsius, no time limitation. Minimum engine HP RPM for ground idle and approach idle? Ground idle is 46.6%, approach idle is 67.0%. Minimum cowl anti-ice bleed air pressure? 4 PSI. Stabilised engine operation on the ground, static, is prohibited between 60 to 80% LP, RPM, with crosswinds greater than 15 knots. Thanks for watching Planebook Audio. Like, subscribe and turn on your notifications for more in-depth aviation system guides. Have a topic in mind? Drop it in the comments. Fly safe and keep climbing.